right, so here's phase two of the sports drink assignment. Um, this is my logo, and it's going to act as pretty much the same thing as my label. Sometimes your logo and your label have a big change between them, but this one only is requesting one flavor, so I'm basically going to use this exact logo design for the label. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new document, so I'm just going to go File New, and I'm going to call this one Sports Drink Bottle. And I want to make sure I'm in inches, and I'm going to go with 8.5 by 11, our standard document size. And the resolution needs to stay at 300, and I'm going to hit OK. So now I need to find some type of bottle for this label to go on. And you may have some special requirements from your design brief, but this one says a tall cylinder shaped bottle with finger grips. And they also want the um, liquid to be pink. So I'm gonna go back to Safari and we could use some of the free sites like um, Morgue File or Stock Exchange, but since it's just a water bottle, I'm gonna type in water bottle, just do a Google search, and I'm gonna go to images. But before I just start browsing around, I'm gonna make sure I'm going to any, uh, not any size, but large. I really want a high resolution bottle here, and you're gonna find all kinds of random stuff. But I think I'm gonna go with this one. This kind of fits the description of what they wanted. And I'm going to just drag this right over to my document. And notice that it's a nice clear image and that's because we searched for large resolution. Even when I make it bigger, notice at first it looks really pixelated, but when you hit return, it actually gets much clearer and that's exactly what you want. So I want to get any background out of it. You'll notice that lots of the pictures you choose of water bottles have all kinds of things behind them and things like that. So you might have to do some of your selection tool techniques. Luckily, this one's on a white background. Um, I have a feeling it's going to delete my cat, but I could always put that back in later if I wanted to. So I'm going to click on that and just hit delete and command D to deselect. Now I want to make this liquid pink, so I have a little trick here. I'm going to get my regular lasso tool, and I could do this very carefully, but I'm going to sort of freehand it, see how close I can get here. I'm just going to make a little selection just around this top area, and I'm going to go edit, copy, and edit paste. So basically what that did is it made a little duplicate of that top part of the cap. I'm just going to put that top part right on top where it was and I'm going to go back to the bottom and this is where I'm going to change the color of the liquid. So I'm going to go up to image adjustments hue and saturation. This is something we used during the iWish project when we changed the color of the images. So I'm going to hit Colorize, and it's already kind of on a pink there. I could slide it to any color. So if you have a team that wanted many different flavors, you might have to do some of this leg work to get all your flavors. But I want to saturate it a bit more so you can really see that pink color, like it's banana strawberry flavored. And you can always adjust your lightness or darkness if you want to as well, but I think that's just about right. Now I'm going to hit OK. So my bottle's pretty much prepped. I still need to work on the cap and some of those other things. But I'm going to go back to this document and I'm going to click on the top layer and shift click on the bottom layer so I have everything grouped. I didn't necessarily merge it because I may want to make some changes still. But I'm just going to drag the whole label over and I'm going to shift and shrink. Hit return kind of position it down low. I could put it up here, but those are really tricky to put to work around those ripples. So I'm going to hit return again and maybe shrink it just a tad more. Now the whole thing I can make bigger at the end because I've got some good resolution, but I think this will be just fine. So now I want it to look like it's wrapping around the bottle and that can be kind of tricky since it's a flat picture. But what I can do is first I want to, actually I think I'm ready to merge my layers. So I'm going to go layer merge layers. This is just the label. And then I'm going to go to edit, transform, warp. And these little handles show up and you're going to just kind of click and drag these side ones and keep them really straight here. It skews and distorts your label a bit, but what it does is it kind of makes it look like it's wrapping around the bottle. And remember, these are a mock-up. You're basically just showing your marketing team what your idea is. So when you hit return, 
it really looks like it fits a little bit more. Okay, so let's look at this a little closer, see what we think. Um, I think it's a really good start. Now, the other item that you're going to do besides your logo and your label is any other marketing items. So we'll talk about that in the next tutorial.